Hey guys, me, Ho Super Sorrow. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got! It's the SH Figure Arts Black Panther and Tamashi Effect Rock. This is really awesome. This was sent to us by the great people at Heo Distributions. Thank you very much, Heo, for sending this through to us. If you want to know more about Heo, guys, please look at the link in the description. There's also a direct link to this if you'd like to buy it for yourself. They are a European company. Um, and they really do have some awesome, awesome products. They sent me this through to review at Christmas. If you remember, they sent this through as a part of a Christmas package for me. So once again, thank you to the guys at here. I really appreciate it. And they've sent this through for review. So let's take a look. This is the SH Figure Arts Black Panther and Tamashi Effect Rock. SH Figure Arts is the new standard figure series that incorporates the Tamashi Nation's action figure art under the theme uh, Pursuing Character Expression Through Humanoid Action. You know, this is an official product by the seal there, by the little hologram, and there's some nice product shots on the back there. It does come with this really cool rock as well. So this is really awesome. So, SH Figure Arts don't normally scale well with Marvel Legends, I'm afraid. Marvel Legends are about 6.5 to 6, uh, sorry, 6 to 6.5 inches tall, whereas these tend to be around 5 inches. But we'll take a look at that as well in the review. So let's break him out of the packaging, guys, and take a look. So I can confirm that this is in stock on the HEO website if it's something you would like to pick up. Oops, I just knocked the camera. <laughs> Let's not do that again. Okay, so it does come with a very nice sealed package. Oh, this got well rummaged on the way across to England and looks things. Okay. I think it's really nice. It comes with lots of different hands. Okay. And it comes with a couple of different heads for us to try as well. Uh, got a bit rummaged in the package on the way over. Uh, this one. Did this one? Let me just pop it back together. Okay, so here is the figure out of the packaging, guys. Looking awesome. Oh, that head keeps going up. Just bear with me. I'm just going to sort him out make sure he's all click click together. Okay, we've got him all clicked together now. I've got a quick look at the joints. Things It is pretty nice. Very similar to the um, egg attack kind of figures. Um, so if we look at articulation on this, so the head is on a ball joint as well with the neck. So he actually has a neck that moves as well, which is very nice. Gives him a whole range of motions. The arms as well are on these little hinges that pop out when you pull them round. Just like that. So it gives him a full range of humanoid motion, which is really nice. Although you can leave that sat in there if you'd rather. These arms do lift up and do pull out at the top hinge and rotate. The elbow as well is on a nice ball joint, so that rotates around. And the forearm even rotates, and the hands are on the ball joints. It comes with multiple different hands, depending on the mood you're feeling. So right now we've got one fisted hand and one clawed hand on there for the Black Panther. He has got a waist swivel there, so you can sort of roll him around on that. Um, as well as another waist swivel at the bottom. His legs do lift out pretty far, as well as forwards and backwards. With a double hinged knee, no top thigh cut though. There is a, no there's no boot cut on this one, but the feet are on rocker ankle pivots with a toe flex. So articulations are very nice on this figure. It has a very um, vinyl feel to him. Um, it actually feels textured, which is very nice. This is one of the more like higher end coll like collectible figures um, on this one. And he does come with a couple of different heads that we can put on, including one where you can see uh, T'Chaka's eyes, sorry, T'Challa's eyes underneath. So that's pretty cool. And like I said, it does come with multiple different hands, some with claws, without claws. Uh, so like you can see here, they've got the more smaller silver tip vibranium claws on that one. Or we can go straight with the fisty cuff, so we can put double hands can be clawed. So that's pretty cool. And he does come with a uh, white plastic stand as well, should you wish to use that to uh, securely stand him. However, he does stand very well on his own without it. Um, I don't think I'm going to be using the head with the eyes showing. I think I'm going to be using the standard head on that one. Um, he does come with this uh, rock formation. So that's pretty interesting. And it comes with all these little bits, so I might quickly pop that together. 
what I'll do guys is I'll quickly build this rock formation um, and then you can see that up close on the desk cam um, and then I will show off Black Panther on the desk cam as well so guys I'm gonna go to the desk cam so guys here we are at the desk cam and first of all I want to move Black Panther out of the way and show you the rock effect that they've included in this package so it clicks together nicely um, using these little interconnecting rods let me just try and show you so these are these little holes and you can use these little pegs to basically slot them together very easily um, as you can see I can do that one handed so it clicks on very easily it's not it's not hard at all and yeah, there's loads of these little plug holes all around that you can either put little stoppers in here that you can rotate them and you can put little stoppers in to make the rock look different or you can actually put this pole in um, and hold Black Panther in a various different positions I've currently got that around the back because I think it hides better around the back there's another little hole here so what we're going to do is just take one of these little pieces and just plug that hole for display purposes so it isn't actually covered in holes and it does actually make it look more, te more te uh, textured and rocky um, I know that's a bit of a given with it being a rock formation, but you know. <laughs> so that as well as articulate, so you can move this in any direction that you need it to support T'Chaka. Uh, T'Challa, I keep calling him T'Chaka, when he's on at the base. And it comes with also little stoppers and things like that. So you can put that in multiple positions, which is nice. Over here in the tray, we've still got lots of different hands that we can use on Black Panther. And we also got that secondary head sculpt. Let me try and get that out easily. Can I do that one handed? Uh, come on, uh, just pop that down here to give you guys a little better look. So that is the secondary head sculpt. It's got the eyes showing, which is nice, but I'm liking the original too much. So if we come back over here to Black Panther, as you can see, he looks awesome. Loving the silver on the black, it really pops on this particular figure. Looks very nicely done. Um, like I said, it's a a very textured vinyl feel to the figure and he's very well sculpted and each of these little components are all sculpted they're not just on there it's all they all come out of the actual sculpting work so that's very nice and it does look like a very nice silver and it is it does look like the vibranium tipped look um, so this is a very high-end collectible figure and it is awesome with a full range of motion lots and lots of accessories with the sh figure arts range I love getting SH figure arts. I think they are really good collectibles, especially if you're a, um, an out-of-box collector like me. You can have a lot of fun posing them with, with some of these different kits and like the little effects they add into them. They are brilliant. So let me go ahead and pose this up, and then we'll come back. So there he is, guys, stood up on the rock piece there, looking awesome. I'm really happy with this action figure. I think they've done a great job at bringing this to life. This harness works really well at securing the figure to the base as well. I'm going to make room for this on the shelf. I think this deserves to be displayed. So I'm going to find a place for it, a nice pride and place. Because it's definitely worth displaying this one. Like I said, guys, thank you to the people at HEO for sending this through to us. I really do appreciate it. And I'll be stopping by them at Toy Fair in London. Very excited about that. I'll be there on Tuesday. So make sure you're prepared for all the good stuff coming from Tuesday's vlogs. As well as a trip to YouTube Space London. So make sure you do check out the vlogs that are coming up next week. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. Let me go back to the main cam and finish off this video. Because I know you're all going to ask me, let's do some scaling. Let's see how he looks opposite some Marvel Legends. So here is the Infinity War Black Panther from SH Figure Arts. And that's the scaling if we're standing with the Marvel Legends 2-pack Scarlet Witch. Um, he's actually taller, uh, but he would be. Similarish height, but I think he is meant to be taller than her by quite a margin, so meh. Let's move her out of the way, though. Um, that's against with the Riders Wolverine. So that one's pretty good. But you can tell the difference as soon as I bring in... Boom. Actually, not bad. Actually, actually, I'm actually saying this, but actually not bad, you know? Hmm. Interesting. Might have some uh, display work to do. But yeah, actually, I thought they weren't going to scale well with the other figures, but actually he does. I'm actually surprised by that. I'm quite um, you know, inspired by this. And you know what? He's definitely earned a place up there with them. So we'll figure out where he's going to go. And uh, we'll definitely put him up on the shelf, guys. Ah, the scaling was actually pretty decent. Uh-oh, guys, it's all kicking off here on the desk cam. 
sculpt pretty well together, guys. They'll actually look really cool together. Yeah. Obviously, that bullet would bounce off that vibranium, but it still looks awesome as hell to see these two facing off like this. I'm actually really happy with this. What do you guys think? Let me know, guys, in the comments your thoughts on this figure. And, yeah, whether this is something you would like for your collection. So, guys, what are your thoughts on this Black Panther figure? Let me know in the comments down below. Is this one that you would pick up for your own collection? Let me know, guys. Thank you once again to the people at Heo. I know I keep saying it, but they really did a good job at saying these through to me. I really appreciate that, and I can't wait to meet them at Toy Fair. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. If you're new around here, smash the subscribe button. It would really support us, really help us out, and help us keep making awesome videos. We've also got a great giveaway coming up at 20,000 followers that you're not going to want to miss. So guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. May the force be with you. Bye!